This is the first release candidate, which means that this GIMP version is significantly closer to being a main stable release. And a release candidate means a final release is very soon. The highlight of this release is major, if you are coming from GIMP 2.10 versions, but even if you have checked out recent development releases, there is still something new for you. This will only cover things that are useful for users. A more visible change is the new and redesigned GIMP logo, which looks flatter, but also gives a much more modern look, and the color also feels much more appropriate. Now GIMP 3.0 features a new welcome tab that allows you to quickly change important settings, such as the theme, scaling language, and some other settings. It also lets you open recently opened projects, create new projects, and access the release notes. Another notable addition is the multi-layer select feature, which is a bit late, but a very welcome addition to the software. The first major change is non-destructive layer effects. This is a long requested feature that was supposed to come in GIMP 3.2, but with lots of developer time and effort, it landed in GIMP 3.0. You don't need to do anything special to use this. Just use any color adjustment or filter, and there will be a FX icon enabled on your layer where you use the effect. From there, you can see what effect you have and double-click to change the effects non-destructively. There is an additional update in this release. You can now use layer effects on layer groups. However, there is no layer mask in layer effects, but this will likely be released in another micro-release after GIMP 3.0. Text tools have also received some great new features. You can now add many types of outlines to your text. And also a new quality of life feature which is only available in big editing software, Snap to Equidistance and Bounding Box Snap. When I am talking about NDE effects, I have to mention that this release includes three effects created by Sam Lester that you might use every day. These effects are Inner Glow. This is a unique filter that was not available in GIMP before, and there was no easy way to get this effect. This effect gives you two effects, an inner shadow and an inner glow. Bevel. This is a simple effect that gives depth. Styles. This is not one effect, but a collection of many effects, allowing you to create outlines, drop shadows, and much more. Going forward, GIMP developers are restructuring their development process to decrease the time between releases. Developers want to focus on smaller, feature-focused releases, like some of these releases may include more major improvements to NDE, more tools and features like vector layers, shape tools, and if you have been expecting AI features in GIMP, then you don't want to stretch the team too thin because GIMP needs more developers to focus on fundamentals. And now that GIMP has a better plugin API, I think adding those features through plugins is not a bad idea. The focus of this release is to make the final release more stable. Please provide feedback to the developers, ensuring that your feedback is not too vague and always check if someone has already provided the same feedback.